What up, what up, Salvador Brigman here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. And today we're talking about equity crowdfunding investing and specifically how do you invest in a startup company on Republic, even if you are not an accredited investor, how do you get started investing in companies? Okay, so let's get started. Um, when it comes to this, I'm going to kind of show you how to do this using Glyph. So Glyph is a company that I had on my podcast recently, Crowdfunding Demystified, which is available on iTunes. And also I published some of the episodes on this channel. Um, the latest ones though are on iTunes and on Spotify. So just search my name, Salvador Brigman. It will probably come up for the Crowdfunding Demystified podcast. Um, so this is a really interesting shoe company that I interviewed the founder of. They've already raised over $81,000 Um you can look through their page and these different things on Republic. So for a sense, you can see what types of products that they have. You can get a sense of how the product was made. And the cool thing also, in the same way that if you were to invest in a public company, is that you can see the actual sales for this product. So in February of 2020, this company had about $48,000 worth of revenue when it comes to selling all from you know word of mouth, a lot of it from word of mouth. Um, so it's really impressive to me and listening to the founder, the founder speak and learning a little bit about his vision really got me inspired. Now, when it comes to this, you can see some of the different perks that are available. So you can have like $200, you'll get this and this, 300 bucks, you'll get this, this, and this $500, you'll get all these things, you'll get a pair of glyphs also. So I'm going to show you basically how to invest money. And this is a minimum investment of $100, um, with their fundraising goal being between 25,000 and a million, $70,000 raising main money under regulation crowdfunding. One of the things with this campaign is to see crowd safe. So safe is a simple agreement for future equity. So basically, an investor, you can make a cash investment in a company, but you get the company stock at a later date in connection with a specific event of some kind. So CrowdSafe, it's basically like um, a way in which you can invest in companies. If you want to, you can learn more um, about this and how this works on Republic. There are lots of different ways that these companies will do um, investments, but you can look into this document a little bit further. Um, typically, these events might be triggered converting into equity when it comes to things like an acquisition or an IPO, um, you know, obviously the, those aren't a guaranteed event of some kind, but tells you a little bit about this in this document, which goes a little bit just beyond the um, the video that I want to create today. But maybe at a certain point in time, we will go a little bit more into that. And I'm here going to click invest in Glyph. Click that button. It's going to load up and it's going to ask you to go through a few different questions. So before you become an investor in this company, you have to know that startup investing is risky. You should only invert, uh, invest amount that you can afford to lose. I understand that. Limited transfer, maybe difficult to transfer the securities, basically saying that, you know, there isn't necessarily a secondary a market for securities in the same way that there is with the public markets like the stock market, right? So it's a little bit different type of investment. Um, there's also restrictions on selling trader and transferring the securities within the first 12 months. So you really can't do anything within the first 12 months, depending on the restrictions there. Um, something to understand, difficult to transfer, meaning illiquid. Also diversification, right? So diversification is probably, I'd say, like the bedrock of getting good returns with an investment. Um, so you could invest among, among multiple deals when it comes to Republic or other websites out there like WeFunder and Start Engine. And this is just basically saying that do you understand it's better to put a bunch of money to different investments rather than putting all of your net worth like into one investment. Um, cancellation, you decide to cancel up to 48 hours before the deal date and your investment will be final after that date. This basically says that I understand that I can't cancel after the 48 hour cancellation deadline. So that's up to 48 hours before the deal deadline. That's something really important to be aware of. With these limits, investors up to limited up to $2,200 per year, depending on your net worth and income. Um, this might, you know, be increased in the future, just basically saying that I understand this and your research, you've done your own research, you understand what it is, um, the, the responsibility that you have there. And these are also I mean, there's so many, so many things you just got to know here, but promoters, right? So the relationship of all founders, employees and paid promoters to a fundraising company should be clearly disclosed securities um, on terms of Republic, the startup sells security called a crowd safe or a token DPA. So that's something you should learn a little bit more about that we were talking about earlier. And also commissions, commissions is free for investors, but companies typically pay about an 8% blended fee. So we'll say start investing while these uh, perk amounts are shown here on the right. So like 50,000 bucks, 100,000, you know, 5,000. Um, 
you could invest less if you want to. So I'm just going to invest a hundred bucks, which is the minimum, right? Um, that's the investing limit. You can also update your limit if you want. You can say if you have a promotional code or not. And then I put in my personal information. So I'm not going to, um, you know, record this, but I'll show you what happens after. And also you can see all the different documents here, like the form C and you can learn more about, um, glyph crowd safe, how it works when you'll be charged. So I'll just want to go through really quickly these and then um, I'll process that. You can see what it looks like. So when will I be charged? Your static payment method will be charged as soon as you click invest. However, in the case that Glyph doesn't reach its funding goal of 25K, your payment will be run to be funded in full. So this kind of works similar to Kickstarter where unless the fundraising goal is hit, which in this case is $25,000, which they have hit, then um, your your payment would not be credited. Basically, you you wouldn't have to pay for the investment and it, it wouldn't happen essentially. Um, and it, coming here a little bit more, for compliance reasons, you'll be charged as soon as you commit, but you'll not invest until Glyph's fundraising campaign succeeds, right? So again, that's the, the fundraising goal. So it has to meet its goal or exceed it in order to actually have the investment go through. If you want to edit it, you can. You can increase the investment all the way until the campaign ends, or if you want to cancel or decrease the investment, you can only do so until the cancellation deadline, right? Um, you can say what others see, these kinds of things. Your investment is private. However, you could actually make it public and you could also comment um, on the page and, and those kinds of things. And you can be a little bit more vocal if you want to. You can cancel or decrease your investment anytime before the official cancellation deadline set by the regulation. So this is 48 hours before the campaign ends. So before the campaign ends, which in this case is September 6th, um, 2020, I could cancel my investment if I decided to. And basically after that date, I just, I really can't. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of out. I, I made my decision there. Um, the information revealed to the company invest is limited to some, your records, full name, all that kind of stuff. I don't think we need to go through that. And, um, how can I invest in my country? So you can basically do this from anywhere, but, um, people can also, uh, limit that based on the company. So the startup company can limit and, and those kinds of things. This is about crowd safe, what you're actually going to get when you invest. And then return is going to happen when an exit happens, which is like an IPO or when the startup is sold. Okay, so I just pushed in all my information stuff. And this is kind of where then they have to verify that um, your investment information. So then you have to input your date of birth. Are you a citizen or not? You know, your social security number, like that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to obviously show that on this video, but that's what I'm going to do next. Okay. So you can see my investment here. The fact that I have committed, I've committed a hundred bucks to this startup. I am officially a startup investor. Sounds really cool to say. I can say that at cocktail parties. I can say that to pick up girls. I can do all those things, right? <laughs> but in reality, so this is something that I think is, is one of those things where you're really just kind of participating in the creation, very similar to Kickstarter, right? So at the moment, this is a 10% discount. There's a valuation cap of 9 million with this company. And we're not going to go through all of that kind of data when it comes to this video. Okay, so this will show you um, kind of the timeline, right? So Glyph is on track to successfully end their financial campaign on September 8th. Remember that I could technically cancel my investment 48 hours before that date if I decided to get cold feet or if I'm, you know, for whatever reason, see something that I don't like. So I decided to commit um, soon after your investment will be finalized and will receive a signed copy of the Glyph Crowd Safe. And that's actually kind of verifying that you are an investor in the company and when you will be able to um, transition the investment into equity in the company when there's a triggering event that happens, right? So you can see the cancellation deadline right here, September 6th. Deadline for canceling is 48 hours prior to the campaign. When the campaign ends, um, if the minimum goal is reached, which it has already, I think, believe it was 25000 then that will happen. If it doesn't, then your card will not be charged. And the investment is finalized when all funds are settled and your security document has been issued. You can then take up to several weeks based on the offering size and other factors, depending on Glyph and Republic. And also you can become a value add investor. So this is something that's kind of interesting. You can actually earn a badge on Republic by being a value add investor. So things like, for example, and you'll also, this is what the badge is going to look like. You can learn more. But basically, um, you can also review it, like what made you decide to um, invest in this company? What influenced your decision most? How did you learn about this? Should you make your um, investment public or not? And do you want to share this with Glyph? And also, do you want to share this on Facebook? Do you want to share this on Twitter? Do you want to make your investment public? These things are all, I think, really um, cool because they give the founder a very clear sense of like, um, what it is they did right and what they can continue to do right to improve their overall experience. I'm going to say I've invested because the founder came on my experience, my podcast, uh, which I'll also put in there, crowdfunding demystified, and I became interested. 
Um, what influenced my decision most? For me, it was really the um, product market fit, so the traction, but also I really liked the founders. So I'm going to say those two. How did I learn about it? Uh, other, make your investment public. Yeah, I'll make it public, and I'll share this with Glyph. So I'm going to click this button right here, other uh, my podcast. Share this with Glyph. So that's then going to be shared. And the other, the other thing that comes in here is you can go through and you can say your experience because this could add value to the actual company, right? So if you are the individual who's participating, you want to be more of an active investor and you want to make sure that you um, can help this company to the maximum degree, you can actually show your field of experience. So I'm going to say marketing because marketing is my bread and butter. I'm really good at marketing. I'm really good at sales. Um, I mean, just, you know, in general for the average person, I'd say I'm not like, you know, I don't know, a whiz or something like that, but I'm like pretty decent. I'm pretty good at fundraising when it comes to Kickstarter and Indiegogo. That's obviously what my whole channel is about. Um, I'm not a designer. I don't know very much about like legal. I know a little bit about all these other things. So I'm just going to say this and also business strategy. Uh, provide any additional notes on how you can help. I say I run crowdcrux.com and wrote equity crowdfunding explained a book. I also have a YouTube channel called youtube.com slash crowdcrux. And I'm going to share that. Um, share this with Glyph. Now that's also kind of me marketing myself a little bit in there. Um, if I want to, I could share my network, right? So my current employer companies and my close network. Now this is really a bit valuable for the founder because then they can go and they can look through this database of their investors and they can see, okay, can we get into this store? Can we get into that store? Can we network with this person, right? Um, so this would be, I think, really valuable just from helping um, other people, basically. So I'm going to say my current employer, which is Crowd Crux. Job title is founder. Company website, HTTPS, www.crowdcrux.com. Crowdfunding. Mother companies in your close network. I'm not going to put that. Especially in your close network, I'm just going to share that with Glyph so that they know. And finally, your profile. So my age range, I am 28 years old, so 25 to 34. My household income, I don't really feel like sharing that at the moment with the with the whole web. Employment status, um, full time. Your gender, I am male. Location, I need to put all that location, marital status. I'm not married, but yeah, ladies, hit me up. I'm not married. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that was a really bad joke. Okay, share that with Glyph. Oh, I have to do that. Okay, I'm not interested in sharing all that stuff. Um, but anyway, if I wanted to, I could definitely share this on Facebook. So I'm going to share this just to show you what this looked like. So I'm going to say, I just invested in Glyph. This is just on my new story. Hashtag startup investor. Woo. Post that publicly um, to my, actually, yeah, I'll post that to Facebook. That will post. I mean, I haven't done a Facebook post on my personal profile in like so long. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, that shared there. Okay, so here you can also see um, my profile, which is Salvador Brigman. There's your portfolio. So my portfolio, I have the $100 commitment in my portfolio. I can invest up to $2,100. Um, I haven't updated net worth or anything like that, my income there. There's also the wallet, which is kind of interesting that I don't want to go into yet, but I could talk a little bit about that, earning notes, the diversification. So this is a very sophisticated um, dashboard. I think that is awesome for other people out there that are interested in investing. Now, the last thing I want to point out here is this autopilot, which you can basically automatically build a diversified startup portfolio, which is really interesting. So this is something that's kind of like almost an index fund, I would say, you know, or, you know, an ETF kind of thing where it's hands-free, it's for the premium startups. Um, you have, uh, I think that's really cool, like the ability to just diversify very easy. Here's like a sample portfolio. So the, you could go into drones, leisure, productivity, health, media, energy, food, all these different things that you can do using uh, this website, Republic, to start in um, investing in startup companies. I kind of want to just give you a very quick overview with this video. I hope that this was helpful for you. I didn't mean to go super in depth, just kind of whet your appetite to show you what is out there. Um, if this sounds interesting to you, please give me a thumbs up on this video. I also have a book out there, Equity Crowdfunding Explained. I also have a free course, Equity Crowdfunding, um, where I go through step by step how to run one of these campaigns, which I'll link up down below. And also, please subscribe to this channel. Like, let other people know because I would really love to um, put more information out there when it comes to equity crowdfunding and investing. Thank you so much for listening to this. My name is Salvador Brigman, and I will see you next time.